All right, YouTube. I am here to make another video. Uh, probably not by popular demand, probably by the demand of like two or three people, but I got like two or three little things to do on the Jetta today. So I thought I'd go ahead and make a quick video. So maybe, you know, starting off, I am on summers now. So I'm on my summer setup. I have my beautiful work VSXX wheels. Uh, I actually run them staggered. So I got um, nine and a half in the front with eight and a half in the rear. So I got another extra inch in the front, uh, but the same tire size. I actually love these wheels so much. They have a, they have a flaky finish on them. Uh, these were custom redone and custom rebuilt uh, last year. So I'm actually quite happy I didn't sell them. Yeah, uh, anyways, uh, kind of off topic. A uh, few little things I want to do on the car. My TDI emblem at the front actually decided to, to you know, feed itself. So I'm going to put that T back and replace it with this brand new fresh emblem. And I have a shifter boot to do. I probably won't be doing that today solely because um, I don't have the trim removal tools. And I'm going to do that once I have those because I don't want to ruin anything on the car. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll give a quick overview of my vehicle in a few minutes as well. But first I'm going to pop the hood and then I'm just going to quickly um, take off that grill and we'll kind of go from there. So pretty simple to do here. Get that badge off, just got to take my uh, grill off in the front. It's just two T25 screws. So I'm going to go in my tool set right there and just take them out and, and remove that grill. So maybe quickly, a quick rundown. This is a CBEA TDI. 2-liter TDI, a 2-liter turbo TDI, actually, and this one is not ordinary. It's actually the upgraded turbo. So uh, my turbo actually blew at 315,000 kilometers. Uh, the car is currently at uh, 322. Uh, so I actually decided to upgrade it with the CR170 turbo. So that gave me a little bit of boost of power and also a boost of economy because the the turbo spooling at the lower RPMs makes it more efficient. Um, and it's also fully deleted. So full emissions delete, DPF delete, all that good stuff. And she gets 1200 to the tank when I drive her lightly, uh, around 800 when I rip on her, which I usually do. And I'm super, super happy with it. She's actually tuned by ECU Works, but I'll kind of go into more info about my car in another video. Just remember, and I thought I'd say quickly, Run right underneath, right here, we have two Phillips screws. One, and then two, that also need to be taken out to take that grill out. So usually there's uh, actually a few more clips, uh, but as you can tell, some of my clips are actually broken. So they would clip into a spot like there, uh, where's other spots? Spot like there, spot like there, and yeah. So grill is off, that part is damaged. Attempt to unscrew it and replace it. So here we have two eight millimeter bolts and we're just gonna screw those off and get the brand new one on. Oop, brand new one on. So brand new emblem, T is not missing. I guess I'll keep that, that one just in case something happens, but yeah. Back to time lapse. So basically, what I realized that uh, these bolts are like double sided, and you put a nut and you just kind of screw it into the other end of the emblem. So what I'm currently just doing right now is I'm trying to unscrew uh, the bolt from oh, uh, from it and then just be able to reinstall it because I don't want to cut these again because those are way too long and I'm, you know, why waste, right? So I don't know how badly you all saw that, but basically took them out. They're easier to put in. Now that they're in, I put the backing plate on, which 
was like right there. There's the backing plate. Put the blacking plate on, screw my two bolts in, and actually to my nut and my two nuts in, not bolts. And we're done. And then we can reinstall the grill. So as you can tell, I'm a little bit of an idiot, put it on upside down. So time to undo that and do it again. All right, she's on. New emblem is now freshly on. There's my T. Old emblem is freshly off. Some people did say that they liked the, this, how it looked like this, because it kind of reminds them of uh, the other logo, uh, because the, the T was a different color, the DIs are different colors. But I kind of like the sleek look of the TDI, just because most people don't think it's a diesel until they see that logo. From afar, they actually think it's a GLI. I'm not trying to fake to be a GLI, but it's kind of funny when this TDI pulls on stock GLIs. So this is back on, this is off, that's back on. Time to reinstall this wonderful front grill. Okay grill is all done that screw went in easily that screw not so easily it kind of still spins but it's holding everything together most important thing is our tdi emblem is now on so girls all looking fresh engine bay is looking fresh as always as i try to even with that dirt and other crap that i have on here but yeah so I thought I would do my um, shifter boot. I have a fresh one. That one's kind of grotty. I can actually show you how it looks. So as you can tell, this one's kind of started to get worn, like especially right there. Um, I have that fresh brand new blue one right there. Um, so I think whenever I can, I'm gonna replace it. As soon as I get those trim tools, I'll do that for now. My glove compartment is a complete mess, so I'm going to do a quick little cleanup. Also, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like me to do. I can do a quick walk around of my car. I can do all the mods I have done, including my, you know, my radio, my steering wheel, all custom done. Uh, I can talk about my wrap, as you can tell. It's wrapped as well. Or I can talk about my management system. This thing is on air. So I think maybe the next video that I'll do will be a full walk around of the vehicle. So in that case, for now, that's gonna be everything. Uh, grill is on, completed for today. Let me know what kind of video you wanna see. Let me know what you'd like me to do on the car uh, or what you'd like me, you know, recommend me to talk about. Uh, in addition, this weekend, I am actually going to pick up a vehicle with someone very special to me. Uh, this is actually her first car. So I'll try to do a little video series on it. Uh, that car is actually getting wrapped, getting some work done to it as well. Um, but it's not a Euro. So if you're looking for something Euro, I know this channel is called Eurofam. Uh, that won't be it. But uh, there's going to be some other Euro content incoming. Uh, Carl, one of the other members of this channel, is actually getting his E90 baked soon. Um, so we have a fresh management system in for him, but we don't have... Uh, the bags yet so we're still looking and deciding who we want to buy those from but uh, that's going to be in our plans to come soon also our third member that's been the least active on this channel so far pierre um we're gonna go over showcases vehicle showcases shop he is actually going to be the one that's going to be wrapping the uh, car that we're picking up for my someone special so in that case that's all Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I know this was a stupid, silly little video, but if I don't make a video about something like this, when am I going to make a video? Uh, just to rephrase, two T25s in the front, two Phillips at the bottom, the Phillips size two or three. And that's about it. Take it easy.